Hello everyone, let us walk through the topic of solar tracker. Here in this solar tracker, we have used our Arduino board, two servo meters, four LDRs, light dependent resistors, four resistors and two potentiometer. These LDRs are connected to our analog pins A0, A1, A2, A3 and A4 and A5 are connected to the potentiometers. We then connect our pin number 9 and 10 are to our servo meter and then give the ground connection and also Five volt connection to our bed board. Here, the servo meter, servo motors receive the control signals from a controller or a tracking system that calculates the position of the sun based on its coordinates and also time of the day. Servo motors then move the solar panels or the mirror accordingly, adjusting both horizontal and vertically to ensure they are always facing the sun directly, which optimizes the absorption of solar radiation. So this is how, how a solar motor, solar servo motor helps in our solar tracker. So coming to the code part, here this code we have written for the Arduino where Ash includes servo.h, it is the library which enables the control of the servo motors. Then we have two servo objects that is servo horizontal and servo vertical where we have used servo h and servo v which stores the initial position of the horizontal and vertical servos. The servo h limit high, servo h limit low, servo v limit high, servo v limit low will define the limit of the servo moment. Then coming to the Arduino pin assignment, we have connected to our A0, A3, A1 <coughs> pins and the, that is the variables depending upon the LDRs that we have connected. Coming to our setup part, we have attached the servos to digital pin 9 and 10 and then we have given a 180 degree uh, for the horizontal horizontal position and then for the vertical we have given a 45 degree we have also given a delay of 2500 milliseconds in this loop function the code will read the analog value in the ldr which calculates the average values and differences in the light intensity based on this differences that is dvert and dhorizon and tolerance tol the code will adjust the position of the servos if the difference in the light in intensity surpasses the tolerance, the servo moves accordingly to, the tra to track the light source. Here we have also given the delay time that will give a small delay at the end of each loop iteration. Here we have set it to 10 milliseconds. So this code will basically read the light intensity from the four LARs, which calculates the difference in light levels between them, adjusting the positions of the two servos based on the differences to keep the system towards the light source in the solar panel tracking system. They will also adjust their position to maximize the light exposure. So here in the simulation part we can see as we change this uh, intensity we can see it rotating. There are also some changes like we can connect a LDR to read our servo motor values and such changes can also be included in this circuit diagram. This is how a solar tracker system works. Thank you.